Three minutes is all it takes to add a chatbot to your Twitch stream. For this, we're using Cloudbot from Streamlabs. Head to the Streamlabs dashboard, which I've linked in the description. And whether you have an account or not, click on Login with Twitch. If you don't have an account, you're going to have to authorize Streamlabs to access your Twitch. And there's going to be a lot of setup, but you need to skip through all of it. There'll be about five or six things to skip through. It will also ask if you want to purchase Streamlabs Ultra. You don't need to purchase that. The free plan is fine. But if you do ever decide to purchase Streamlabs, then click on my affiliate link in the description. Not only does that support my channel, but it gives you $9 off the first month. Anyway, now that we're logged in and on the dashboard, I'm going to click on Cloudbot on the left. First thing I'm going to do is copy and paste the command where it wants you to mod the bot. And I'm going to head onto my test Twitch account and into my chat. I'm going to paste it slash mod Streamlabs. Should tell you that Streamlabs now has mod privileges. Next up, I'm going to turn on Cloudbot by checking this box. And I'm going to turn on the moderation feature. I'm going to set mine to minimum. The minimum level will manage crazy spam and other crazy things happening in chat. But from my experience, it's better than medium or maximum. For example, even if your viewers spammed like five emojis in the chat, it would remove it. So the medium and max level often feel too restrictive. This section is all of the different moderation settings. You can go through the preferences if you want. But let's look through some of the other sections. I'll ignore this ultra name section and we'll click onto modules. I highly recommend turning on the chat alerts. It's going to type into your chat when somebody follows, donates or subs. And optionally, if you want any of the other mini games, toggle them on if you want. Let's click on commands, which is one of the most important ones. Let's add a popular command. So let's add a donate command. First, I need my donation link. I'm going to click on tipping. Once the page is loaded, here is my link. I just click on it to copy it. Then we'll head back to Cloudbot, head back to commands and click on add command. Now there is templates for some of these, but sadly there's no template for donate, but that's fine. I'm just going to type exclamation mark donate into the box, paste my link in. You could add an optional message if you want. Then that's it. I just hit confirm. Now we can test it in the chat. If I go in the chat and type exclamation mark donate, you can see Streamlabs is now a first time chatter and it's replied with the donation link. Next up is the timers page where Streamlabs will type a message into your chat at the specified interval. This is currently set to five minutes and it will only type it if five people type by default. So you can change those if you want. I'm going to do an example and I'm going to call it subscribe. I'm going to paste in my YouTube link and I'm going to say subscribe on YT and then paste it in. Just realized I spelled it wrong, so I'll autocorrect and save. And now it's going to type every five minutes into my Twitch chat, subscribe on YouTube. The other pages aren't used too frequently. Anyway, after subscribing, watch this video next to add cool stream overlays to your Twitch stream.